Hey guys, in this video we have some work from home jobs where you get paid to remove spam and review fraud online, typically with no phone calls and no experience. Peerspace.com is the first place to look at right now. And here at Peerspace, this is basically a company that's like the Airbnb for event spaces. I think I covered a customer support job for them very recently, but this is a totally different job that they uh, just posted recently. It's in the United States, it's full-time, it's remote, it's an associate investigator for trust and safety. Now trust and safety is a really good job to go for if you don't have a lot of experience or credentials because mostly what you're doing is moderating. You're making sure that people are following some sort of rules and things like that. So as far as what the goal for this is, is to ensure that PeerSpace remains a safe and trustworthy marketplace for users. Again, it's kind of like an Airbnb, except it's for like wedding, business, reunion, all sorts of different events, event spaces instead of, you know, spaces for people to spend the night or to stay in as an alternative for a hotel for like a vacation. So it's, it's similar, but it's a little different, but because, you know, they have all these postings, obviously you can probably imagine that they have a lot of people trying to scam people and fraud and you have to stay on top of that. So they're looking for a proactive problem solver who is passionate about maintaining the integrity and trust and safety efforts of the platform. Someone passionate about investigating issues and con connecting the dots to take action. In this role, you will become a subject matter expert of PeerSpace's policies, procedures, product features, and internal workflows, and apply this knowledge when reviewing a user's account to determine eligibility to use the platform. Key responsibilities, independently work through a queue of tasks with an eye up for process improvements, review and take action on accounts for potential violation of community guidelines or terms of use, review accounts and transactions to detect and prevent fraud, prepare evidence and respond to disputed charges, conduct investigations to detect suspicious activity, conduct ID and payment verification checks, provide outstanding customer service through email and phone to provide support on trust and safety initiatives or case review, and schedule three-week schedule rotation to support weekend coverage. So qualifications here, passionate about helping to make the internet a safer, more trustworthy place. Excellent written and verbal communication with attention to detail and grammar. Maintain a high degree of confidentiality, attention to detail, energized by investigating issues. Have a sense of humor, enjoy working with others, consistently and objectively apply guidelines when making difficult decisions. Schedule three week, rota uh, three week rotation, uh, week one, Monday through Friday, eight hours a day, and then week two would be Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday off, and then Friday and Saturday, Friday through Sunday, eight hours a day, and then week three would be Monday through Friday, eight hours a day. So that's kind of how it would be distributed. Uh, so like, er like once every three weeks, you might have to work on weekends. Uh, bonus points, proficient in Excel and Google Sheets, pre previous experience with Zendesk or other ticketing systems, and experience with Stripe. The hourly, hourly rate for this is $26 an hour, and there are additional full benefits per below. And they are proud to be certified as a great place to work. And here are some of the benefits that you can get with this job. 100% employee coverage of medical, dental, and vision insurance. $500 annual professional development allowance, discount on all pure space bookings, laptop high-res display and stipend to set up home office, monthly cell phone and internet credit, co-working membership, membership if needed in lieu of home office, access to the pure space network of inspiring spaces to do your best work, flexible take it as you need it, time off policy and wellness Fridays observed company world or company wide. And they also believe in having a diverse team as well. So as far as what other jobs they have available, you can also just go to peerspace.com, scroll down to the bottom, and then go to careers under company. And they have a few other things available. They have a principal software engineer. They still have that customer experience associate available part-time if you're still looking for a part-time position. Senior product manager search and data as well is available. As far as what it's like to work here, they have a overall rating of 4.5 out of five stars overall. 86% recommend working here to a friend. 93% approved the CEO. So very good all around there. Benefit wise, they have 3.9 out of five stars, 12 ratings. And interview wise, they have an overall rating of 2.5 out of five difficulty. So it's kind of right down the middle in average difficulty. 
Uh, they do have more negative than positive experiences interviewing here, but the sample size is pretty small, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Next, we have a company called Live World. I've covered this company a few times in the past, and this, this job at Peerspace reminded me a lot of this job, so I figured I'd throw this in there as an alternative. So this company here at Live World, you can go to liveworld.com slash careers, and right now they still have a social media agent job available. They're usually actively hiring for these jobs pretty much all the time. And for this particular job, you're going to be doing basically social media moderation and support. So you're not having to get on the phone with customers or anything like that. But as far as support and moderation, it's very similar kind of to peer space. Um, you'll be doing engagement, engagement for marketing purposes, adverse events management, and or protection of brand image. You'll provide a great experience for a brand's customers and their online venues, and this position is hourly, part-time, work at home. Flexibility is needed to occasionally work evenings, nights, weekends, and or holidays. Uh, primary responsibilities for the various agent positions may include, but are not limited to, review and take appropriate action on social media posts according to brand guidelines to include rejecting or approving, content tracking and escalating, triage and respond to customers' questions, selecting in personalizing previously prepared responses or in a social context, actively engaging with online users, stimulating, guiding, and participating in conversations, authoring responses on the fly, and research customer service answers, in some cases, client CRM systems. So you'll also identify and escalate trends and topics, sentiment, and emerging issues. So then they have required skills and traits here ability to connect with people and communicate in courteous conversational style while making decisions according to guidelines ability to compose well-written messages and with good grammar and appropriate punctuation notice how they mentioned well-written messages and not mentioning being on the phone here strong keyboard skills ability to navigate between multiple systems or applications simultaneously, demonstrate personal or professional success engaging in a social channel, and recommend education experience. Minimum 18 years of age or older require two to three years experience in online moderation and engagement and or online customer service desirable. So this statement is always one that's a little interesting to me because I'm not sure if they're saying all of this is desirable or just the last part online customer service more specifically so i think from the way they wrote this i think it's minimum 18 years of age required and then the rest of this is desirable because they don't mention the rest of this being required after this age part here so i think that's basically how it works some experience in a call center and environment helpful work at home experience helpful social media moderation and engagement experience preferred but not required healthcare background desirable but not required experience with social media tools such as those from live world salesforce sprinkler coros or similar tools desirable college degree or equivalent experience preferred and then as far as your work from home office setup dependable high-speed internet dependable telephone access ability to work in a quiet and secure home office atmosphere work must be performed on a desktop or laptop computer or Use of a tablet or phone is not feasible. And then language fluency requirements here. You need to be fluent in English. Some positions involve fluency in reading and writing in other languages. Language fluency testing and writing samples are a requirement for all hourly positions. English for all positions in specific languages for some positions. So you do obviously need English. For some of these, you might need other languages, but not all. So I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if they're not really saying you have to have other languages, but they're basically saying you might be a little more limited on what you're doing if you don't speak other languages, but it doesn't seem like it's required. So if you are a U.S. resident and you are fluent in one of these other languages on top of English, like Danish, Dutch, Flemish, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, etc., then you want to definitely let them know. And then you get to work from home with flexible scheduling and all of that. Now, typically they do hire outside the U.S., but right now they currently are not. So if you're outside the U.S., you won't be able to apply right now, but maybe in the future you could. As far as what it's like to work at Live World, 83 reviews, 3.3 out of 5 stars, 49% recommend working here to a friend. So that part's kind of split down the middle. Uh, 2.4 out of 5 for benefits, but they don't really mention benefits in the application page for that job. As far as the interview process here, 
1.7 out of 5 difficulty, which is definitely not bad at all. That's well below average difficulty. And the most most people had a positive experience interviewing here. Not a huge sample size, but you know those interview scores, I'd say, are really good. And then as far as salary goes, you can go to, I would say, hourly since it's mostly part-time and see what people are making here. So moderator, $29 an hour or so. $20, $30, something along those lines, it looks like is what you could be averaging here. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Leave me a comment on what you're looking for or what you would like me to post more of, and I'll see you in the next video.